Whisperland Survey Service, ALB speaking. How can I direct your call? It's wonderful to hear from you again. It certainly has been a while, hasn't it? Well, we're glad to have you back. Do you happen to already have a client file started with us? Certainly, I can just pull it up in our system. We're still working largely analog here. You'd be surprised at how efficient we can be. In terms of file recall lookup time, it may add a bit of bulk, but we find it's more engaging in terms of client retention. I hope I'm not boring you too much. Stop me if I am. Or maybe don't, if that's your inclination. Let me pull up my system. Do you mind just holding with me here for a moment? Thank you so much. I appreciate your patience. Mm-hmm. Now, let's see here. We have our own unique onboarding system here, color-coded and symbol-coded. You should be able to pull your file up if I gather a few pieces of information. What name do you have on file with us? Is that the name you'd like me to call you today? Mm Mm-hmm. No problem. And what country are you from? Okay, so the first letter of your name corresponds with the heart symbol. So you'll be under the heart section. Let me just look through these here. Nope, not this. Quite a few here. Wow. Uh, yes, there we are. And the next letter is... Mm-hmm. It should be around here somewhere. <laughs> ah, perfect. Found you. Let me just log in here that you're calling, and that way we can continue to track all of your answers across the board. We store this information for one simple use. And that is that we find it interesting. And for your sake, it's a good way to learn more about yourself and your interests and your hobbies. What you like and dislike. A person could think, oh, I don't have particularly strong opinions that need to be observed. Then chat with one of our Whisperland survey advisors, and it all changes. They go forward in life knowing themselves a little more deeply, and that's ultimately our end goal here. Sometimes you can learn a little more about yourself by learning about others. Why, have you ever found yourself Confessing something to a stranger that you've never said out loud before? Or possibly not even known that you felt that way until you said it to them? Mm-hmm. It happens all the time. These are the concepts that fuel us here at Whisperland Surveys. As always, Please keep in mind that the purpose of these calls is simply to relax you. If you find yourself drifting during today's call, feel no obligation to answer. I'll be here on the line with you the whole time. Let's start off with some simple survey questions to warm up. Get ourselves back into the swing of things. Let me just pull up the beginner's 
questionnaire section, bear with me for just one moment. Okay, here we are. Um, what is your age? Oh, that's a very fun age. How do you feel about it? Oh, really? Well, I hadn't thought about it that way. It's good to keep in mind. And what is your favorite color? Oh, I see. I was interested to see if that one would change from the last time we chatted with you. Fascinating. And why did that color come to mind for you? Oh, be sure to take note of that right here in your file. Alright, let's get into it. I have our brand new survey file that I'll pull up here. Do, 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 do. Yes, these are some of the best questions we've had. Perhaps I'm biased, but I really do think so. Okay, so do you prefer working on a laptop or desktop computer? Mm-hmm. And what fuels that preference, do you think? Is it just what you're more comfortable with? Oh, uh -huh. that makes sense. Yeah, we use both here, but I definitely have my own preferences. Actually, the first laptop was made in 1982 and was called the Grid Compass. It was enclosed in a magnesium case and introduced that classic clamshell design we're all familiar with now, where the flat display folds shut against the keyboard. It was equipped with a 320 by 200 pixel electroluminescent display and a 384 kilobyte bubble memory. For reference, there are about a thousand kilobytes in one megabyte, and the average photo taken on an iPhone is about one to two megabytes or more. It's amazing how technology can advance in such a short amount of time. Well, short amount of time in a relative sense. Is there a computer you've always wanted to try out using? Mm-hmm. Oh, me too. When was the first time you ever used a computer? Do you remember how old you were? Wow, that's amazing. Did you have a computer where you grew up? That's interesting. Mm. Well, it's somewhat related. Do you consider yourself to be proficient at typing? Mm. Do you know offhand how many words you can type per minute? It's pretty rare for people to know that unless it's related to their job or if they recently happened to test themselves. I'm not sure I know what my score would be either. You'd think that I would know, since proficient typing is a key and major part of my job. But speed is not really the Do you know what your average clicks per minute rate is? I'm just kidding, that's not really a thing. But I bet if it was, you'd be great at it. Do you change the background on your phone regularly? Or have you had the same wallpaper for a long time? 
Hmm. Well, moving right along here. You're doing a great job, by the way. These answers are fantastic. Um, let's see. Do you often do stretches? Yeah, any kind of stretches. It could be full body stretches or just hand and wrist stretches. Hmm. I see. Yes, stretching regularly is very beneficial. It helps your joints move through their full range of motion, as well as enabling your muscles to work most effectively. Um, have you ever tried yoga before? Do you know how to ride a bike? Do you know how to ride a standing bike? Mm hmm Just logging that in here. I want to make sure I'm getting this down. Uh, do you know how to ride a treadmill? No, you're right. That's, that's just walking. Nothing gets by you. You're too sharp. Uh, have any allergies? Oh. Yeah, we get that answer pretty frequently, actually. It's more common than you think. Is there anything you aren't necessarily allergic to? But at restaurants, you might ask them to leave it off or exclude from your dish. Okay. Oh, that is interesting. Do you prefer to eat on paper dishes or on proper plates? Hmm. Is there a particular reason for that or is it just out of habit? Habit affects more in our lives than we really realize, or probably think about on average, if you ask me. We find ourselves doing the same thing, simply because it's what we've always done, and it's what feels like the right thing, even though it's just based on habit. Our brains are so strange, and really cool. When you buy groceries, do you bring your own bags? Mm-hmm. Do you like the texture of paper bags, like the feeling? Mm-hmm. Do you prefer to pack your own groceries, or do you not really care how they're packed? Have you ever used a machine dishwasher before? This question is somewhat related because folks can be very particular about how a dishwasher gets packed. They'll even reorganize it if they don't like the way others have arranged things. Do you relate to that at all? Is that something you've ever done? I bet. That says so much about you, even by saying so little. Okay, this next section here... Hmm, let's see. Oh. Alright, this one says, Are you someone who makes their bed every day? Mm-hmm. So that would mean the last time you made your bed was... Perfect. So, would you describe yourself as neat or disorganized? I know, most people fall somewhere in the middle, realistically, but which one rings more true for you to stop? 
the top of your head. Okay. By the way, uh, I read recently that making your bed every day has many more benefits beyond the obvious. It starts your day off right, it encourages you to keep the rest of your room tidy, lots of other things too. Can't remember offhand the last time I made my bed. But it seems smart in theory, so who knows? Maybe the next time you call in, my answer will have changed. Maybe. Do you find that lighting highly affects your mood? Or do you not generally notice the lighting in the space around you? Well, for some people it matters a lot, but others, not so much. Hmm. Okay. Do you prefer fluorescent lights or more warm lights? Okay, got it. Um, if given the option, would you go for neon LED lights? Or fairy lights. Mm. Both are great for a bedroom or even a chill hangout space, depending on how they're used, I suppose. Yeah. Too much of anything can make things less relaxing, that's for sure. Do you like to sleep with a night light? Hmm. It doesn't have to be um, an actual designated, you know, night light, but maybe sleeping with some kind of light source in the room? Hmm. Okay. Have you ever used those tiny glow-in-the-dark stars on your ceiling? Oh yeah? Of course. Well, for me, when I was little, I got a pack of those little stars at the Scholastic Book Fair. I think they must have come with a book of some kind, something like that. But that's where I got them, and I loved them. Although, they did leave little marks on my ceiling when I eventually removed them. I'm loving your answer so far. This is so great. Okay. Well, this part is kind of a fun section. Well, I think it's fun anyways. Do you have a favorite dinosaur? Oh, I see. Were you interested in dinosaurs as a child? Hmm. Yeah, I feel like with kids, there's like four directions. You're really into dinosaurs, or horses, or wolves, or something even more random, like trains. Yeah, like choo-choo trains. I don't know, that was just from the top of my head. Choo-choo trains is not here in the actual survey, but I'm just saying, you know, many kids fall into those categories. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Uh, have you ever ridden a horse? No kidding. Have you ever ridden a different animal besides a horse? Well, okay. Taking note of that one, for sure. Hmm. So, do you have any clothes that you hang on to because they're extremely comfortable, even though you'd never leave the house in them? Yeah, like clothes that might not be in the best of shape, but 
they feel good to wear. Mm-hmm. Listen, there's no judgment here. Comfort is key, after all. How about this next question, though? Do you have any clothes that you're hanging on to for purely sentimental reasons, even though you never actually wear them? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yeah, I get that. Just scrolling to the next subsection here. Thank you so much for your continued patience. Okay. Have you ever slept under a weighted blanket? Oh, okay. I haven't tried one yet myself. Do you usually sleep with, like, a lot of duvets and blankets all nestled up? Or do you prefer to have really light Mm-hmm. Do you usually get hot at night or frequently more cold at night? Oh, so that's why you sleep that way. That makes sense. I see your methods. I see why you're doing this. Do you keep a foot out from under the covers? Or do you always make sure your feet are tucked in? Hmm. Do you do that out of, like, tradition or superstition? For sure. Yeah, I mean, I'm not superstitious, but, you know, I'm a little stitious. How about socks? Do you wear socks to bed? Okay. What else do you like to wear to bed? Do you have a type of pajama you prefer? Oh, neat. Uh, let me just make sure I've got all of this down. Let's see, we've got the blanket, duvet, the covers. Okay. Yep. We've completed this section now. You are very good at answering these. You're a wonderful client. Now, we're on to this one. Mm. What's the best berry you've ever eaten? For some people, they know their answer right away, so I'm curious. Oh, okay. Is food texture something that is important to you? Are there food textures you just really, truly love? Like where you bite into something and think, oh, This is perfection. Hmm. I knew you'd have a good answer for that one. <laughs> I am making note of this. Um, hmm. Do you drink a lot of water during the day? Okay. And how much water do you think you drink on average? Hmm. Do you ever add anything to your water to make it taste different? Oh, so uh, examples for this would be like lemon, mint, or there are like packets and droplets of flavoring that you can get. Yeah, that kind of thing. Oh, okay. No, for sure. Mm -hmm. So, on average in your life so far, do you tend to have a large circle of friends or just a couple of close friends? 
Who do you tend to get along better with? People who are the same age as you, or people who are older than you? Hmm. Do you tend to befriend people who are younger than you? Interesting. And why, why do you think that may be? Oh, you've said it all. Mm-hmm. I totally understand. Do you follow along with currently popular music? Or do you have a genre you tend to stick within? Mm, yeah, I guess now that I think about it, pop music is also a genre. But current pop is different than pop as a genre, so the question is still good. Oh. Oh, okay. Do you like older music, too? Mm-hmm. What do you think is the oldest song that you listen to regularly? Oh, do you know what year that came out? It's a tricky one, right? Unless you're really into music, you might not know what year certain songs were released. It's something that's very fun to deep dive into when you get the chance. It could give you a new appreciation for uh, some of your favorite tunes. I love this question. Have you worn your socks to the point that they get holes in them? I think that's the case for most people. But have you ever darned your socks? Or do you replace them? Well, darning is a sewing technique for repairing holes or worn areas in fabric or knitting using a needle and thread alone. It's often done by hand, but it is possible to darn with a sewing machine. Darning is a traditional method for repairing fabric damage or holes that do not run along a seam and where patching would be impractical or would create discomfort for the wearer, such as if you guessed it, on the heel of the sock. There are many different methods and tools you can use, too. Many handicrafts such as this have come back into style, especially if it means holding on to our favorite things a little longer. I feel like everyone has that one pair of socks that they love more than all their other pairs of socks. This question isn't in the survey, strictly speaking, but I'm kind of curious. Do you yourself have a pair of socks that you tend to favor wearing? Ah, see? There's something about you. I just knew you'd go in that direction. Okay, let's see. Getting back on track. Have you ever had a virtual pet, such as, like, a Tamagotchi? Hmm. Okay. How about online virtual pets, such as, like, Neopets or WebKids? Well, there's tons of other examples, too, but what about it? Have you ever had one? Okay. Noted right here. Do you like playing video games? Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Are there any games that you enjoy playing on your phone? Okay. These answers are wonderful. Do you 
mind just holding with me for a moment here so that I can just make sure I have everything down okay? Thank you so much. Okay. Let's see. Yes, perfect. Okay. Another completed segment that's logged away. Great. Okay, I'm pulling up the next bit here. Thank you so much for waiting. Let's see. Okay. Have you ever shaved your head? Mm-hmm. Okay. Have you ever worn your hair short? Okay, and what's the longest you've ever grown your hair out before? You don't need to know the measurements or inches or anything. You can just approximate. So like chin length, shoulder length, that sort of thing. Wow, really? That's pretty impressive, I have to say. How far do you walk on the average day? Keep track of how far you walk, or do you prefer to just go with the flow? On days that you walk further, do you tend to drink more water? Oh, I see. Well, that actually takes me to our next question on the survey. What's your favorite kind of iced drink to get? Me too. I love that. Do you like to drink your water cold, room temperature, or warm? Alright, logging that in here. I personally tend to go for um, room temperature or warm water, especially at night. I don't know how to explain it, but cold water wakes me up. I know it doesn't make a ton of sense, but that's just how I feel. Oh, here is a section I absolutely love chatting about. Do you keep all of your media digital these days? Yeah, so that refers to any music, films, stuff like that. Ah, oh, a true revolutionary. Fascinating. Are there movies or albums you'd always want to hold on to physical copies of? Or do you like streaming more? Hmm. Do you own any physical copies of TV shows, be it disc or VHS? Hmm. Sometimes with old, old shows. I find myself wishing I could watch them with the era-specific commercials still in. They're such an accidental time capsule. Even seemingly boring commercials were so different like 20 or 30 years ago. Yeah, it can be enjoyable to see the cheesiness or like the odd weird styles. If you ever get bored, I would recommend searching old television ads for things that you are interested in. It's a rabbit hole worth falling down. And enter. Nice. That's another completed bit. So now, if it came right down to it, which would you say is more important to you? Comfort or style? Hmm. When you're shopping, do bright colors grab your eye? Or do you prefer more neutral and simple colors? Hmm. Interesting. Do you find yourself trying to Stay up to date with current trends, or do you have your own unique, defined style? Oh, good for 
for you. That's the best way to do it, I think. When you think of fashion, is there a celebrity or figure that comes to your mind as someone who is very stylish? Is that someone whose style you would enjoy trying to emulate? Okay. And, speaking of fashion, and costumes specifically, oh, this is a good one. Do you like to watch movies set in modern day? Or do you prefer uh, period pieces? Hmm. Okay, how about movies set in the future? Does it depend on, like, what kind of future the movie presumes to predict, even in fantasy? Yeah, so for example, um, like a good future with technological advances, or, you know, a future that looks difficult to navigate. Mm -hmm. Do you like watching media that's set in a fantasy setting? Such as one with magic or heroic tales. There are so many different subgenres within the fantasy umbrella, such as high fantasy, urban or contemporary fantasy, paranormal fantasy, Arthurian retellings, science based fantasy. If you are a reader, I bet you can think of examples of all of these pretty easily. Is there any book from when you were younger that you still enjoy reading now? Mm -hmm. How about more specifically, any picture books that you still enjoy? Oh. Mm -hmm. That's so so what kind of art would draw you in to look more closely at a book? Oh, I love that too. That's one of my favorite styles. Do you like simple art or big and bold art in a book? Yes, love that. You've got great taste. Have you ever read a chapter book that has those tiny illustrations at the beginning of each chapter? Yes. I really love it when books have that. Um, when you're studying or doing work, do you find your mind wandering a lot? Hmm. Well, when you do experience the wandering, is there anything you do specifically that helps you, like, center yourself and keep on task? Oh, really? Well, that's a great tip. I should give that a try myself. Do you normally have a song stuck in your head? Do you ever wake up in the morning and just immediately have a song playing in your mind? Hmm. Is it easy for you to remember song lyrics? Or do you find that um, you're more likely to just remember the tune of a song? Okay. I'm getting it all down. Can you hum the tune of a song for me right now? Just a couple notes? Yeah, whatever comes to mind first. Wait, is that? Of course it is. I should have known. Very good. By the way, are musicals something you're interested in? Absolutely. 
And there are so many musicals coming out these days. Wonderful answers. Okay, let me just see. Okay, we've got a few more left in this section. This must be a sort of arts and culture based section because so many of these questions seem to be around that topic, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, we felt all of these out. And these are all entered in. Excellent. Okay. Have you ever painted a room before? Mm Mm-hmm. Well, it's quite hard. Not a lot of people realize the labor involved. When it comes to the space you live in, is the decorating scheme super important or do you tend to not notice it? Hmm. If given the choice to decorate your home any way you want, with no restrictions or limitations, what would be the first thing you do to it? Really? I would not have guessed that. Is that That's the first thing. That's pretty neat if you ask me. Me? Um, I think I would go for a spiral staircase. Or like a big window with a cushioned seat so that I can curl up and read by the light. Something like that. Even if it's not realistic, It's nice to dream about these things. It can put you in touch with yourself. What you like, you know? Have you ever seen a painting that's on a canvas so big you couldn't physically hold it? Yeah, like a painting that's way bigger than you. Oh, okay. Have you ever seen a A painting or sculpture that's bigger than a group of people. Even those cultural landmark ones. Oh, true. Well, I'll take note of that. What's your opinion about performance art? Are you a fan? Mm -hmm. Do you like when come into the audience and do interactive theater? Mm, That's true. It's definitely a unique experience. Are you careful with fragile things? Or would you say you err on the clumsy side? Mm Mm-hmm. Have you ever held a tiny Fabergé egg? Do you like drinking out of fancy glasses made of crystal or glass? Hmm. These are great answers. Really good. I'm making sure I've got all of this down right here. are you doing on your end? I hope you like these questions. I've got another section right here for you if you're ready. How does that sound? Wonderful. Do you open the curtains when you wake up in the morning? Or do you prefer to gradually adjust to the light? Hmm. Have you always been that way, or is that a more recent preference? Mm -hmm. Hmm. And what is your favorite smell from childhood? If you need a minute to think on this one, that's totally okay. Take your time. Oh, sure, I can give some examples. Um... Let's see. Other callers have answered. They've said 
the smell of a brand new pack of colored pencils, the smell of trading cards, and a lot of answers naming various foods that were family favorites. Does this bring anything to the forefront of your mind? Oh, how fascinating. And what made you think of that smell? That's lovely. Do you enjoy household tasks like mowing the lawn or raking leaves? How about shoveling snow? Do they have snow where you live? Mm-hmm. We definitely get snow here at Whisperland Surveys Headquarters. When it comes to other household duties, do you prefer doing dishes or cleaning the floor? some really wonderful answers today. So now it's time for our this or that round. Are you ready? All you have to do for this section is give a simple answer by choosing one or the other. Even if neither answer really suits you perfectly, just choose whichever is closest. After all, just for fun. So, I need you to pick between these two. Simple or sparkly? Okay. Tart or sweet? Chips or chocolate? Too cold or too warm? Rain boots or hiking boots? For home flooring, do you prefer carpet or hardwood? Okay. A cozy night by the fireplace or an afternoon out shopping? Mm-hmm. Do you prefer a hanging wall calendar or a day planner? Mm-hmm. Pencil or pen? Text message or phone call? Mm. Caramel or mint chocolate? Steamed or fried? Well, the item can be of your choosing, since this is hypothetical, but off the cuff. Which sounds more appealing to you? Ah, oh, okay. And popcorn or candy? Mm -hmm. Well, that brings us to the end of our survey time. It's been an absolute pleasure. I can't thank you enough for calling in. We really appreciate all of your candid answers today. And for my part, I absolutely adored getting to chat with you. If you call in again, uh, please ask for me. I'd love to assist you. Thank you so much for choosing Whisperland Survey Calls. We treasure our time with you because you are